<clears throat> Hi there, I'm John with Platinum Tools and today we're going to do Easy RJ45s. In fact, here's a Cat 5E Easy RJ45 all finished up. So we're going to show you how to do this. It's pretty simple once you know how. And we're also going to show you how to do an easy snap jack. And here's one that's all done, ready to snap into the wall plate. So let, let's do the, the uh, Easy RJ45 first. What we want to do is put the strain relief on first because then we're going to remove the jack and once you spread the wires apart it's hard to get on. And let's open this up, my uh, stripper. This is one of them. I have this model too. This cable here that I'm using is a little undersized so I like to use this one on it. And what I'm going to do is just score the cable. It's still intact and then you just bend it and it pops for you. And this way you know you didn't nick any of the conductors. Let's get rid of this. Now, first thing you got to do is just lay the wires out and I call it, lay them out at 12 o'clock, 3, 6 and 9. And this way you keep them separate and they won't get mixed up. Some of these uh, color codes on these cables are very, once you get them together, it's hard to tell which one's which. So, uh, gee, I'm stubborn here. Separate my pairs. The reason I'm separating my pairs is I'm going to use my cable jacket as my pair separator. And I just go on and pull off. I straighten them out. I'm holding my twist tight with my left hand here. Over here I'm holding tight. So when I pull, I don't pull the twist out and, and just comb these and come down again, comb it out. So we got our twist all out. And what I'm going to do here is, is I go ahead and lay them out. I always know green white's before green. Brown white is before brown. Orange white is always before orange. And blue white is always before, I mean blue is always before blue white. Okay. Now once it's like that, it's easy to lay out whatever spec you're going to do, whether it's A or B. If it's A, you start here. If it's B, you start here. So let's say I'm going to do the B. I start with orange, white, orange, and then I bring green, white over. I slide in blue, blue, white, and I bring green around, and then bring brown, white, brown around. They're already there. Now holding tight here, what you want to do is stretch these together and sort of move them. See how I'm moving them, zigzagging them? See how they're doing? Nice thing about working with solid, it's got good memory. So you can form it and it maintains whatever you feed it. So there it's ready to go. Now if you've ever done a regular one, you have to cut these back here, about that far from the jacket. With the easy, you can work with long conductors. It makes it nice. So you take our scissors. And these, are, these are your great sharp scissors are important because when you cut these, you'll want, you don't want to deform them. You want to make sure they maintain their concentricity. They stay around because the connector has the little holes in the front that these are going to slide through. So let's go ahead and slide this in. And before I try to finish prepping it, I'll check it to make sure it's right. And of course, it is right, so we know where to spec. So I'll finish seating it, getting the jacket past the strain relief latch, getting these twist up way closer than on a standard connector. So the performance is even better than a standard RJ45 because you can really get those twists up. The closer the twist to the point of termination, the higher the performance. And once I've done this, then I'll take the strain relief and slide it in the back. And I like to use my tab. I like to put it underneath the locking latch. You can put it over, but I like to put it underneath the locking latch because it keeps pressure on the locking latch and it really uh, prevents the connector from having uh, the tendency to maybe later on after it's been plugged in of becoming disconnected and having intermittence uh, on your uh, connect connectivity, your connection. So I'm going to set this aside because before I crimp it, I want to show you that basically now that prep that we did there is the same prep that we're going to do for the easy snap jack. And here's the easy snap jack. It has a little door on it. And normally you would punch these down. Uh, here's a regular jack that you have to punch down with a punch down tool. But we don't need a punch down tool for this one. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll prep another cable here. I'm just going to make it short to make it easy. So again, we got to do the same prep. So we get to see this again. I'm just going to sort of walk it through. We'll get rid of that 
tear line there and separate these out and you take our jacket whoop got a numb hand here sort of weird okay so now we're combing these out get the kinks out and then again I know blue always comes first brown white always comes first orange white comes first green white comes first so we're doing the B on this one too so I got this I got orange white orange green white then I got blue blue white and then green and then brown white brown So this is the same prep, just like we did the, the RJ45. So what we're going to do here now is trim this. And what we have here is we have the wire guide bar. It's a little piece. You can see a little better sitting here. It has the color chart on it. And of course, it's reversed from what a connector would be. So I'm going to flip this. And then we're going to slide this in. And it's perforated on top, so it can take contacts. So we're sliding this on. See the wires coming through, just like on an easy RJ45. And what I'm doing here now is I'm pulling it, stretching it, so that the twists are up. Here's the point of termination. Your twists are right here. So very high performance. And that's how it would look for the prep. So we'll do, now that I have this in my hand, let's go ahead and finish the easy snapjack, and then we'll go back to the... Uh, RJ45, okay? But there's both of your preps, very similar. Now, on the <coughs> Easy Snapjack, we want to take our flush cutter. It means it, it can cut flush against, if a wire were coming out of this top here, we cut it flush to the top. And that's important, sharp and flush. So we come up right next to the bar, like right there. And we're going to trim it, just like that. And then you're going to take your Snapjack, and open it up and slide that bar in and notice how I'm holding it. I'm keeping the pressure on while I get it perforated or s the contacts that are there. The contacts want to make sure they're grabbing hold of the conductors before you let go so you don't pull back on it and it gets a good close connection. So once I have it like that then I can finish it and it's ready to plug into the wall plate. That's it. Ready to go. Okay so that one's done and now we have to finish the Easy RJ45. So how are we going to do it? Here's our tool. This is the Easy RJ45 HD heavy duty crimp tool, which is really great. So what I'm going to do is just put it into the port. Make sure I'm go through there. There we go. And make sure it's in there solid. And I always like to hold these in place tight. And what we're going to do is holding this tight like this. I'm going to come down. I do my crimp, boom, cuts off all the conductors, it's ready to roll, release the tool, and there you are, an easy RJ45 and an easy snap jack ready to go. This is ready to plug into the wall plate, this is ready to plug in, and you can hear the snap, the pressure on here, hear the snap, and there you go. So imagine the wall plate there, there's your jack, and there's your plug ready to roll. And thank you, hope this is helpful to you.